It's a case of another financial institution, another scandal. Top executives from the global banking giant HSBC have faced a grilling by U.S. politicians after a Senate investigation found the bank had given terrorists and drug dealers access to America's financial system. You've probably seen the commercials. One of the world's biggest banks, London-based HSBC, trying to claim a stake in the American market. But before it does, the banking giant is under investigation by the U.S. Senate, accused of turning a blind eye to billions of dollars in money transfers by drug cartels and even terrorist groups. According to today's Senate report, among those who have made it their bank of choice are the ruthless leaders of Mexican drug cartels, suspected Al-Qaeda money men, and the Iranian government trying to get around U.S. embargoes. Today, bank executives sheepishly admitted there had been cover-ups of the relationships and suspect accounts were left open for years. Is there any way that that should have been allowed to happen at the time? Uh, no, Senator. One HSBC executive admitted he made the decision to move money for a Saudi bank that a CIA report says helped finance al-Qaeda around the time of the 9-11 attacks. Did you believe what you wrote at that time? Uh, at that moment, uh, yes. As a result of the scathing 400-page report, HSBC's head of compliance, David Bagley, resigned. I recognize that there have been some significant areas of failure. I have said before, and I will say again, despite the best efforts and intentions of many dedicated professionals, HSBC has fallen short of our own expectations and the expectations of our regulators. The former CEO said he had made many efforts, particularly in Mexico, to beef up anti-money laundering measures. Some of the things I found, frankly, took my breath away. But every time I found a weakness, I tried to ensure that we took action. The bank is yet to hear how much it will be fined for the failures. Some analysts are estimating it could be up to $1 billion. Meanwhile, the Senate report also mentions a regional Japanese bank. Hokuriku Bank is believed to have received $290 million worth of travelers' checks, which were then allegedly cashed at an HSBC affiliate. Now, these checks are suspected to be related to transactions with Russia for second-hand cars. Hokuriku Bank officials say an examination did not reveal any wrongdoing. At HSBC's US HQ in New York, customers say nothing surprises them about bank dealings anymore. I just think all of these systems are so enormous and they're so fraught with potential for these kinds of fraud. I definitely don't want to be doing business with people that's laundering money. It doesn't surprise me that any bank can launder money, that you can launder money. Somehow there's a way of getting around, around things. Once again, there's also criticism of the regulators supposed to protect the financial system but who fail to take action. What this hearing will show is how HSBC has consistently failed to tackle financial crime issues and how US regulators have consistently failed to get HSBC to up its game. What we need is we need serious regulation and in the worst cases we need criminal prosecutions against those who've got it wrong.